I think Ronald Reagan said something about a country uh, like America never, uh, by having military strength, uh, caused a war, but it certainly helped to stop a lot of wars. Sam Kephart, uh, you have some thoughts about military strength and where Amer American foreign policy is going. Well, I think our foreign policy is confused at best and lost at worst. I mean, we, we don't have a cogent foreign policy right now. It's not like the Reagan doctrine or something. Well, we've got a really articulate uh, Secretary of State, uh, don't we? No. <laughs> oh, okay. No. Well, we have a he president. should go help his wife in the ketchup business and stay we, out of the f foreign policy we, area. He should sell condiments. <laughs> right, exactly. Sell con <laughs> well, we do have a president who's dedicated to preserving freedom in America, don't we? The problem is, we may have a president who's dedicated to that, but he's up against some pretty tough hombres overseas, certainly Vladimir Putin being one of them. And this whole thing uh, in the Ukraine, if anyone reads history, Russia, basically the whole concept of a greater Russia was founded in the breadbasket of the Ukraine several hundred years ago. They're not going to walk away from that. That's ludicrous for someone to, to think that. The best option, it was something that I, I uh, read uh, an article in the Washington Post that Henry Kissinger had written, is that the Ukraine should become politically like Finland, friendly to the West, does business with the West, open doors to the West, but doesn't puke on Mother Russia either. They're, you, they're sort of... Uh, you've been traveling a lot. Yeah. And uh, Sam, I'm interested to hear if you have uh, heard any rumblings about America's foreign policy as it relates to Israel. Yeah, I think people feel it's skewed. It's, it's too heavily one-sided. They understand, people understand our reasons for being friendly with Israel, but they think we're now in the pocket of Israel. And do they really, even with this president? Yeah, yeah, they, they do. Because if you look at um, uh, some of the things that are going on and, you know, in his cabinet, he has a lot of very uh, strong pro-Zionist, we might say, uh, folks in his cabinet. Would you name day. some of them? I'm not going to get, no, I'm not, uh, I'm not going to get into that uh, right now. The, 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 what he's saying is, no, I can't. <laughs> no, there, there are. Here's, here's the thing that comes to my mind. Uh, scripture tells us that God says he will bless those who bless Israel and curse those who curse Israel. And my perception, and I think the majority of people I talk to uh, think that uh, this president has not been friendly to Israel. In fact, it almost adversarial. I, I am surprised by that, really. Uh, who have you been talking to, Sam? <laughs> <laughs> well, he, here's the thing. My big challenge with that is, insofar as the Palestinian state is concerned, you know, Israel will say, okay, we're going to give you this land over here. Great. Then they say, oh, and by the way, we're going to checkerboard all these conservative Orthodox Jews on the land we just gave you. Well, that's not really a gift of land, is it? I mean, I, th I think the seeds for a large problem are there. And if that's the case, then let's rip the Band-Aid off, have the war and get it over with, is my feeling. Well, that... Uh, um I want to just dispel the rumor that uh, all of Sam's traveling is because he's uh, been hired by the uh, the Arabic countries. To oh no no no! <laughs> Listen, no, there are, there's plenty of there's plenty of um, finger wagging to go around over there. And my feeling is Israel has been a very good friend to the United States, and they have some of their own agenda over there. I mean, obviously... Like survival, for well, instance? No, 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 no. Of course they're entitled <laughs> okay. to survive. Uh, but in my opinion, um, some of the manner in which they have treated the Palestinians is not right. I mean, we, if we were doing that internally here, you know, for instance... You mean like they uh, shoot back? <laughs> Well, I suppose, you know, you could say the American Indians are kind of like the Palestinians here to some degree or other. Well, I think it's time for us to go. <laughs> we enjoy having you, Sam, and I know our viewers like to listen to you even when you get close to the point where you're wrong. So <laughs> thanks for joining us today. We'll talk more with Sam 
So tune in next week.